Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick haul video of some fragrances that I got this year in January. I've already purchased too many things. So I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I got. Uh, let me know if you've tried any of them, what you think of them. I'll just pick them out. Uh, the first one is probably the last fragrance that I will get from Stephane Humbert Lucas as far as the ones that are out right now. I don't know about what he will do in the future. We'll see. But this is one I had been wanting. It was sold out here. Uh, so I just ordered it online because I did want to have in my collection. And this one is Col de Bahrain. All right. So this particular one, so Col, Coho, in Arabic is like a type of eyeliner that they have a black eyeliner that they have been using since the time of the ancient Egyptians and so that's the name of this Koho of Bahrain so the, I guess the theme of this particular fragrance is that it's supposed to be basically makeup makeup of Bahrain because it's it's very powdery it's a very powdery scent so the notes on coal de Bahrain are resins iris ambergris sandalwood and peru balsam i really like this scent it's not something that is just mind-blowing it's not um all the other ones i prefer more than this one but this was one that i really wanted to get in my collection for some time i have been checking back just to see if the the spot ride where that sells actually stephane humber lucas had a sale going on and by the time that they actually did it was sold out so i just got it i just got it online so i could get it so i could have it in my possession and so now i have it so that one is coho de bahrain the next one is a discontinued fragrance this one is from the house of lancome it's one that i just happened to come across randomly when i was just walking around one of the the old markets and so i got it for a good deal this one's discontinued it's not going for crazy prices online and this one is queer de la com de la com lancome cure de lancome and so this particular fragrance is notorious for having uh, a horrible horrible cap so i was walking out of the mall too impatient to get to the car and even open it so i was opening it while i was walking to the car and uh the cap is so loose on it that it is that it just popped off it fell to the ground even cut my hand when i tried to pick up the cap so i just found this to replace it with it's hard to find a replacement cap because as you see up here it doesn't have that little neck that goes on the nozzle so i can't even find anything that will go over it and so online people talk about it all the time it's definitely the worst cap in perfume history but this is a beautiful leather iris type of scent um so i'm glad i got a good deal on it i got it for like less than a hundred dollars the guy was trying to tell me he basically was trying to tell me in like broken english that it was discontinued but i was just acting stupid and didn't know what to act like i didn't know what he was talking about and threw out a price and uh he gave he gave it to me for a lower price so that was good all right moving on the next two are fragrances that i got from lucky scent and so this is another one that i wanted to get locally because they ended up doing um, the the shop that's here locally they ended up doing these uh mdci parfums mdcis some of them were 50 percent off but by the time i went there this one had been sold out for some time and this one is queer cavalier so but even if well 50 percent off i probably would have gotten it cheaper than than um i probably would have got it cheaper than if it was 50 percent off but at like 30 percent off uh i it may not have been because they were charging uh, higher prices for the ones that that are the portrait series and for what reason i don't know but on lucky scent they charge the same for any fragrance that has this top it's, it was only more if you wanted the bust that i would never want so this was a leather fragrance that i really wanted to check out and so i went on ahead and picked it up so the notes on queer cavalier are rose saffron uh, cypriol oil or cypriol oil oris 
honey, oud, leather, tonka bean, and vanilla. Those are some of the notes on it. And so this was one I just remembered from memory and it was one I really wanted to check out again. I wanted to pick up on it. It does have this, to me, uh, infamous leather cord that I don't like from like Tuscan leather from Tom Ford and things like that. But this, so this is my first leather fragrance that I've purchased that has that leather cord that I was talking about that I that I did not like but I do like this fragrance so hopefully maybe this will be my segue into trying other fragrances that have this particular leather cord I generally like ones that have leather cords that use birch uh, and things like that uh, or castorium so moving on the next fragrance that I got from Lucky Scent is from the House of Desir. It's a Japanese brand, a niche Japanese brand that I've been wanting to check out for a while. And these are from some of the more affordable ones. So here's the box of Desir. It comes in these very simple boxes. And this one is called Adamiku. And so on the bottom it tells you the name of the fragrance. It tells you the name of the fragrance because when you open it up, they all come in these simple little bottles, 33 milliliters. So very, very small, 33 milliliters. This one, again, so if you have multiple ones, you'll find the name of the fragrance on the bottom. But it has the name of, the, of it on here. And some of the notes on this one are sweet orange, os osmanthus, jasmine, olibanum, and benzoin. So. I'm always a sucker when I see uh, benzoin and fragrance in a fragrance, but those are in the base. This particular one is considered like a, a citrus amber, so it's it's sort of in the ballpark of like um, ombre calabria, things like that. It's a little bit different. I do mostly just pick up citrus, uh, citrus and the florals uh, specifically, the jasmine from it, but I barely I barely tried it. I'll definitely try to come back to this and try to do a review on it. I don't see, I don't think any single single reviews on this particular fragrance. So I'll definitely be checking it out, moving on. And the last fragrance that I want to mention from this particular small haul is from the house of Rocha's Paris. And this one is Femme, Rocha's Femme. This is one I do own in the Eau de Toilette. So this is the Eau de Toilette version right here. Uh, it has this black cap, which is a newer one, but there's also a later design. This particular one, actually the batch code uh, says that this one is from 2000. But this particular one right here is is an Eau de Parfum, which they say is, they no longer make Eau de Parfum. It is a splash, and from the batch code, this one says that it, it was made in 1980. So, it is a splash bottle. So, but again, this one is 1980. It still has the black cap, as you see, and the batch code on the bottom. So, ab upon doing some research, um, I wanted to uh, pick this up. I wasn't too impressed with this one. I felt, um, wherever I got it from, I can't remember where I got it from, some one of the gray market spots here. Uh, I just got it because I looked at the batch code and said it was 2000. So, but to me, it's like the top notes aren't, aren't really hidden on that one. So I picked this up, the Eau de Parfum, and this one just seems like it's the real deal right here. So I wanna, because I'm very much into uh, cheaper fruities, and this one has plum, peach, cinnamon, apricot, rosewood, bergamot, lemon, rose, iris, oak moss, benzoin, and vanilla are some of the notes. If you can see that there's a slight difference in the color variation in the two, this one's much darker, the Eau de Parfum. So I got a decent uh, deal on it. Rocha's film is not going for like crazy prices, but is a, it is theoretically, in my mind, a good uh, cheaper fragrance. So I'm gonna probably decant that in like maybe like a five ml decant or 10 ml decant and just live with it. Um, and see if this this Eau de Parfum concentration will do justice for me. So that's it. That's my little mini mini haul that I have uh, for this early edition in January 2023. Have you picked up anything already this year? 
If so, let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace.